Hello friends, I am Dr. Amok Shahane. I am practicing as a pediatrician at Sanvi Children's Hospital, Khargar, Navi Mumbai since the last 15 years. March every year we celebrate as a World Obesity Month and it is very alarming to say that India ranks third as the most obese country in the world after US and China. Statistics also say that childhood obesity is around 15 million right now that we have 15 million overweight and obese children in India and this could go up to 70 million by 2025 if adequate preventive steps are not taken towards it. This video mainly helps in decoding the myths and facts related to childhood obesity. Myth number one. Mothers need to consume twice the recommended intake during pregnancy to produce good weight and healthy babies. But the fact is, maternal preconception BMI of more than 30 kg per meter square can lead to infantile obesity along with excessive weight gain during pregnancy. Hence, there should be promotion of adequate nutritional status and weight gain during pregnancy, which can be guided better by gynecologists and obstetricians. Coming to infantile obesity, myth number two, in LBW babies, that is low birth weight babies whose birth weight is less than 2.5 kgs and SGA babies which are small for gestational age babies, that is the weight is less than the 10th centile, to promote adequate weight gain and catch up growth for first two years of life, there is promotion of calculated formula feeds and overfeeding. But the fact is, after the age of 6 months, if a child is given calculated formula feeds which are high calorie dense, they can alter the protein energy ratio and lead to fat deposition. Many a times we see that some children are weaned as early as 4 to 5 months with solid food and weaning foods which also promotes infantile obesity. A child after the age of 1 year requires not more than 200 or 300 ml of milk in 24 hours. The diet should be compounded with adequate calories through solid food. Myth number 3. This is regarding childhood obesity that is covering the age of children between 2 to 10 years of age. During this period, because of rapid growth velocity and increased energy demands, many a times these children are fed with high fat, high sugar and high calorie foods that is snacking between meal times and many a times parents give health supplements and tonics to improve the appetite of the child to promote weight gain. Sometimes the portion sizes are also increased to see adequate weight gain but eventually all of this will lead to childhood obesity. But the fact is when the total energy intake exceeds the total energy expenditure there is an energy imbalance which causes accumulation of fats and also leads to childhood obesity. This is also compounded by children who are inactive with lack of physical activity, more screen time, more TV viewing which also leads to childhood obesity. Coming to teens and obesity, teenagers and obesity is a totally different ball game. Teenagers have multiple factors affecting them like hormonal changes, peer pressure and because of which they can resort to many eating disorders and follow certain food fats. So we will be discussing some myths and facts about food fats in teens. Obesity in teenagers sometimes pushes them to follow certain food fats. One such food fad is following a keto diet or a vegan diet which helps in weight loss. But the fact is these diets are nutritionally deficient because they completely avoid certain food groups putting the child for some severe deficiencies and health hazards. The second myth which is seen in teenagers is energy drinks help to boost the energy levels and improve concentration before an exam. But the fact is these energy drinks have high amounts of caffeine and high amounts of sugars. Though we do get the uh, sugar free varieties available today which contain artificial sweeteners like stevia or aspartame but consumption of large quantities of energy drinks can cause health hazards in the form of obesity and metabolic syndrome. These drinks also contain large amounts of caffeine which can cause heart abnormalities in rhythm like fibrillations and tachycardia which can be quite hazardous. The American Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend teenagers to consume health drinks in the form of energy drinks.
Now coming to the prevention of childhood obesity, speaking figuratively, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends the 5-2-1-0 rule, that is 5 which stands for 5 servings of different types of fruits and vegetables in a day, 2 which stands for less than 2 hours of screen time per day, 1 which stands for at least 1 hour of moderate to physical activity per day, and zero which stands for zero, zero sugar and sweetened beverages and artificial flavors. The Indian Academy of Pediatrics recommends the following guidelines regarding childhood obesity. The first is there should be regular growth monitoring of your child during every vaccination visit in the first year of life. After one year of life, the child has to be monitored in growth at least every six monthly. And after five years of age, the BMI has to be checked annually so that we can catch the early children who show signs of infantile and childhood obesity before this goes into a full-blown pandemic. So signing off, I hope this video was useful for you. Please do subscribe to our Navi Mumbai IAP channel for more such updates. Thank you and wish you all the best of good health.